Welcome to my lecture online. In the previous video, we tried to explain why we needed less wire when we had a three-phase system instead of a one-phase system, but then it, then it ended up that we started explaining why there's less power loss. And of course, when there's less power loss, we can then convert that in needing less material. So what we ended up doing in the previous video, showing that if we use the same kind of wiring in both systems, the single phase system or the three phase system, it turned out that the ratio of the power loss for a one phase system versus a three phase system was two to one. We lost twice as much power delivering the same amount of power to the load. We lost twice as much power on the wiring to the load in a one phase system versus a three phase system. So that's a tremendous power savings, especially if that wiring is very long, we'd lose a lot of the power along the way. So we can reduce that by using a three-phase system, or if we're willing to have the same amount of power loss, we can then also save on the material. It's one or the other, maybe a little bit of both. So let's assume we now set up a three-phase system in such a way that the power loss is exactly the same as for a single-phase system, what would be the savings in the wiring? So that's what we're trying to show over here. So if we're willing to have the same power loss, we can double the resistance by using less wire. So if we take a look at it, the resistance of a wire is determined by three things. The, resisti the resistivity of the material, the length of the wire, and the cross-sectional area. Now in this particular case, if a system is already set up, we don't have a choice on the resistivity. We're going to use the same kind of wiring and we don't have a, ch a choice in the length of the wire. That's going to be the same as well. We can only play around with the cross-sectional area. Since the resistance is equal to the resistivity times the length divided by the cross-sectional area and realizing that the resistivity and the length is the same for both systems, we can only change the cross-sectional area and therefore we can say that if the initial one is equal to this, the final one can now have twice the resistance and for twice the resistance we can then get by with half the cross-sectional area. So in other words, in a three-phase system with the same power loss, we can go to half the cross-sectional area. All right, if that's the case, we can then say, well, then the final area will be half the initial area, but then we realize we also need three wires instead of two wires, okay? If we need three wires, then of course we don't have as much savings. Otherwise, the savings would be a two to one savings. We only need half as much material, but since we need three wires instead of two wires, the savings aren't quite as big, but still pretty good. So finally, the amount of material we're going to need for a three-phase system with the same power laws as a one-phase system. We only need half as much material because we only need half as much of the cross-sectional area, but we need three to two amount of wires. In other words, we need three wires instead of two wires. When we multiply that together, we can see the amount of material we're going to need for a three-phase system versus a one-phase system is three quarters of the original material. In other words, we only need 75% of as much that means we have 25% savings on the material used. If we're willing to have the same amount of power loss, if that's not the driving cost, but the driving cost is the material cost, then we can save by having the same power loss by reducing the cross-sectional area to half as much on the wiring, providing the current to the load, and then we save 25% in material. Or we can have the same amount of material and save in power loss cost. And so we'll try that on the next video to say, if you want to go ahead and save on power loss, how much can we save? Because based again on the fact we need three wires instead of two wires, and but at least if we want to save on the material alone and you don't care about power loss, then 75% is what you need on the material for a three-phase system versus a one-phase system. And that's how it goes.